All right. Again, we're trying to get what we did in Pathfinder Office into ArcGIS. So to recap, we went to Options. Uh, no, we went to Utilities. And we hit Export. We exported this to a shapefile. And in our catalog, I connected to my folder that I've got my GPS data in. And I went to my Project folder. And again, this thing keeps things pretty organized. So I'm going to go to the Export. And here I see three new shapefiles. And if I switch to the preview, I can see some nice line work. We've got one little glitch here. Uh, if I look at the coordinate system for this sidewalk file, I'm going to properties, I'm going to see that it's unknown because um, we couldn't find the projection file. So I need to make sure that I define the coordinate system. Again, you're not telling it what you want it to go in. You need to label this correctly. So if you remember what we set our export uh, coordinate system to, it was geographic or latitude and longitude of WGS84. So under the world file, so WG, WGS84 right there. All right. So now I've, I've defined that coordinate system correctly. And now our true test to see if it shows up in the right spot. I'm going to pull ArcMap up here. And I'm going to drag this file into ArcMap. And let's see. All goes well. I'll see it on top of my image here. Color's not great, so let's switch the color. And there we go. I get some sidewalks for a portion of the community uh, to the west of campus. So awesome. This looks great. We got things lined up pretty well with that background image. Let's zoom in a little closer and see what that looks like. All right. It's got a little bit of a uh, uh, correction that needs to be done here and a little bit of shift from that image. My guess is that our GPS is going to be more accurate than that image. So that's how we finish things up um, in terms of getting things from Pathfinder into ArcGIS. Our next step is to go in and artifacts like this right here. Uh, obviously the sidewalk is not um, uh, uh, was not made while somebody was drunk so it's going to be relatively straight and I need to straighten that out. So now the fun part begins, editing.